Now one last place mark that I'm going to add, I want to put a video in. Now I've already gone to YouTube and I've found a few videos uh, that showed what it's like to travel on roads like this in Central Africa. And we're going to use those for this example. So again, I'm going to come up and I'm going to push place mark. And it's going to show my place mark, which I can click and hold and drag around. And I'm just going to stick it right in the center of town. And I'm just going to write traveling by moto in Cameroon. And moto is the word they use for motorcycle. So now I want to put my video embed code here. So the first thing I want to do is go to my YouTube site. And I've already found a video that's appropriate. I'm going to come over to the embed code. I'm going to select it, and I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back to Google Earth. And in my description box, I'm going to paste that embed code. That's all you do. And now we're going to change the person to some sort of vehicle. This little motorcycle icon looks good to me. Now I'm going to hit OK. And now when I click on that, it'll actually stream the video in. And you can play it right within the window. And this could be used to enhance your story in however you feel is necessary. The video will play right in there. And that is pretty much all there is to using the place mark, the polygon, and the path in order to tell your story. Now what we need to do is actually bundle or save all of these different place marks, polygons, and paths together into one file called a KMZ file, which you can then use to email to different people or upload to a website. To do that, you're going to want to right click in the white space of the places and you're going to want to add a folder. And I'm going to name this folder Cameroon Story. And now I've got a folder down here and now all I'm going to do is click and drag each of my individual files that I've created into my folder. And now you can see that underneath my folder all four of the different files that I've created are under there. Now all I want to do is save them all together. So to do that I have to right click on the folder and I'm going to say save place as. And again, Cameroonian Story .kmz. It'll automatically populate the .kmz for you. I like to put things on my desktop when I'm working with them because they're easy to find. And I'm going to save that. Now once I've done that, I can then upload that file to a website or email it to myself. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to post it to the Google Sites uh, that you, we've created or any website that you've created. In this case, I'm going to use the example of an assignments page that I've created within a Google site. So here we are, we have 440 assignments, 445 assignments, and here I've got a little plus sign for attachments. I'm going to click on that. It's going to give me a browse option. Click on the browse. I'm going to go to my desktop where I've saved the story. I'm going to select Cameroon Story, which is the one we just saved. I'm going to open it. Now it'll automatically save it for me right there. And that is how you use Google Earth to tell a story, how to save separate files under one folder, and then how to upload that file or saved folder to a website. You could also use a similar process to email it.